Today I'm revealing the most powerful antioxidant that you have never heard of. It's one of the keys to fighting off the diseases that you fear the most. It is called glutathione. Now write it down because it's critically important. And here to tell us about it is the director of Yale University's Prevention Research Center and my good friend, Dr. David Katz. Dr. David. So, glutathione has been described in, in many places as the superhero of antioxidants. Now, why is that? How come no one's ever heard of it before? Because unlike most antioxidants people think about getting in a supplement, this one the body makes. That's the reason people haven't heard about it. It's going on all the time. It's also the reason why it really is the most important antioxidant. It's the one that the body relies on itself to clean up critical toxins. So it's being manufactured all the time, and the body makes critical use of this to defend us against a variety of toxins. So I've got a little demonstration to really make this really clear to folks. This is absolutely essential. You know how I talk about all the things to do in your life, right? The foods to eat, the antioxidant vitamins to take. They all work through this. In the body, you've got glutathione. And you also have looks lots just of like cells. That. Looks just like this, yeah. right? And so you've got these green normal cells, and you also have toxic cells. Some of these are from outside your body. Some of them are, are cells of your own that have been damaged by free radicals, and they've been oxidized. Damaged by the sun, damaged from foods, whatever. If you put in the normally existing glutathione in your body, it will soak up a lot of these bad boys, take them away, just like that. Now, if you don't have enough of the glutathione, now you put it in there, and you'll be lucky if you just get one of these toxic cells out. So you lose the powerful, natural ability of your body to heal itself. You know, we always brag about how the body can help you almost always recover, but only if you help it do that for you. That's what this segment is about. Now, David, how do you know? You like that? I like that. Good. I'll take it home with you. <laughs> okay, thanks. Go back to yellow. My kids will love <laughs> Now, how do you know if you don't have enough glutathione in your body? So, the, the issue is this. If you have a chronic disease, most serious chronic diseases are associated with low levels of glutathione. So if you have diabetes, if you've been through cancer, if you're struggling with a serious infection, that may indicate that you're depleting your glutathione, may be worth checking your level, certainly worth doing things to bring your level back up. And then also, if you're chronically run down, if you're chronically fatigued, if your body just isn't firing at all cylinders, low glutathione may be part of it, both cause and effect. So you have to be sort of clued into how you're feeling and your general state of health. So you're at a big center, and people come to you all the time. When you give people glutathione, in whatever form you get it to them in, what happens to them? So, uh, in my clinic, we have a patient with Parkinson's who comes in weekly for an intravenous infusion of glutathione right into the vein, fairly high dose. And both we and the patient's neurologists are convinced that it has helped stabilize his condition. How do you like that? Hasn't cured it, yeah. hasn't made it go away, but it has helped prevent any further progression. And I think more and more we're going to see studies supporting that kind of application.